Bunny's Kitchen. Today we are going to look at how to do ayam goreng berampa. Ayam goreng basically means fried chicken with some delicious, you know, uh, tidbits at the end, which is very flavorful. This dish can be found in uh, Singapore and Malaysia at any nasi padang stall. Now let's look at the ingredients needed. First, we have one kilo of chicken, which I've cut it into uh, bite-sized pieces. Okay. We have half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, handful of curry leaves, two tablespoon of meat curry powder, and two tablespoon of coriander powder, two tablespoon of corn flour, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, one egg, kalangal, a very small piece, I can bring it close to you, see, it's very, very small piece. Okay. Small piece. Okay. Ginger is about one centimeter. Also bring it close. Okay. And I have sarai. It's a very small piece. Okay. So now what we are going to do first, all the three ingredients you see over here, you know, the uh, lemongrass, ginger and the galanga, all this is going to be mixed into a paste. Okay, now we have blended the galangal, ginger and the lemongrass into a paste. Okay, it should look like this. Do not need to blend it very finely. It should still have the you know, grainy look to it. Now I'm going to marinate the chicken. First I'm going to put all in the blended paste. Ginger garlic paste. leaves, the meat curry powder, the coriander powder, now all these powders will give it a very nice flavor to the chicken and when we fry you can see all the greens coming out as well. Nothing works well other than our hands, so I'm going to mix it well with my hands. Okay, I've mixed the chicken well with all the masalas and the curry leaf and everything which we have done earlier. Now we are going to marinate this for about one hour before we're going to deep fry it. Okay, today I also like to highlight I've used sardia frozen chicken. Sardia frozen chicken is very fresh. Um, you just need to keep it in the fridge one day earlier. That means it needs 24 hours to defrost. So I've kept, in, uh, kept it in the fridge 24 hours earlier so that it can defrost properly and it's in a proper temperature for us to take it out and use it. Later we will show what are the other ingredients needed to add in before we deep fry. One hour later. Okay, I've marinated the chicken for one hour. Now I'm going to put in the eggs. Mix it well. And I'm going to coat it with the corn flour. Now, coat it with the corn flour. Don't give it a thick coating. Okay? We just want a thin coating for the crispy layer. Okay, give it one second. Okay. 
Okay, we have heated up uh, some oil for deep frying. Okay, put this in one by one. We have to fry the chicken till they are golden brown. The chicken has turned golden brown. Now I'm going to take it out from my pot. Okay, later we're going to show you. Now we're going to serve it. We're going to have a beautiful photo shot. Makeup for the chicken. Okay. So meanwhile, thanks for watching our video. Keep subscribing. Share all the recipes to your friends and family members. If you have tried any of it, please send me comments, photos. I'm really looking forward to look at all those recipes you have tried from my videos and from my channel. Happy cooking and have a good day everyone.